All right, video number three covering the Melt X Beetlejuice collection. And in this video, we are gonna be doing some looks using the Waiting Room palette. So I just did the video where we went over and did two looks using the Recently Deceased palette. This time it's Waiting Room. So yes, that is what we're gonna be doing in this video today. By the way, if you are new here and just stumbled upon my channel, or maybe you've been watching these Beetlejuice videos and you haven't committed yet, well, I would love it if you would consider subscribing by hitting that little red button down below that way you don't have to search for me on the internet and try to remember my name. You'll just, I'll just show up in your subscription feed and you'll get notified when I post more videos. And if YouTube not, doesn't notify you, which they tend to not do, you can go in your subscriptions and, and look at all the videos that I do. Cause I post three times a week, whether YouTube tells you or not, I'm here creating content, all makeup and lifestyle related and cruelty free makeup too. So yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing. And without further ado, if you're ready, I am too. So all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight and keep on watching. Okay, so we are going to begin. And before we begin, I just kind of wanna say that I feel a little boxed in with this particular palette. Now I have used it, I think it was twice you know, since doing my initial review video. And I liked how it came out. Everything performs great with it, but it's it's reds and it's grays. So even though it's 10 pans, it feels somewhat limiting. Now I say somewhat limiting in the sense that I really try to think of things that you guys haven't seen from me recently as far as, you know, eye looks go and everything. So I don't wanna do something that that you guys have already seen either on my Instagram or whatever. So, you know, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna create something really good. We're gonna create something really fun and pretty, but I just wanna be completely honest with you that, you know, this just feels like you can only do so many things, even though there's 10 shades, which feels odd, which feels odd. It's, a, it's an expensive eyeshadow palette. And I just wanna make sure I give you all the information that I have once I start gaining it, once I start gaining some knowledge about the palette and you know, maybe more of a companion palette. I don't know. The shades themselves are performing really nicely. I have no complaints about the quality. It's just, it's the lack of variation for me. Anyways, let's get started for real. So I went ahead and already primed my eyes with the ABH eye primer per use and then set underneath my brows. Now, one other thing I do wanna mention is you might see this shade up here called Sandworm and think that that might be a good base shade because it looks like it's white and it, and it kind of tricked me because the first time I used this palette, I didn't, I must have realized that it was gray. Second, second and third time I used it off camera, I was like, wait, that's a base shade. I'm gonna use that, that's a white. It's not a white. <laughs> what am I thinking? Cause when I went to look at it yesterday again, I was like, wait, that is gray. Cause it looked a little bit weird when I was using it, like bright, but also just a, a different, sh like not quite white. And then I looked at it again, I'm like, oh, that's gray. So that is a very, very light gray or like a white gray kind of shade. You can use it as a base if you really want to, but it gives, a kind of a gray look. So just be warned of that. So starting with the shade Obituary, I'm popping that onto the crease and I'm gonna be blending it out. First I'm laying it down with this kind of flat blending brush, then I'll go in with my fluffier blending brush. Okay, switching over to my blending brush now. I'm gonna be, instead of blending outwards like I have been doing lately with my recent looks, I'm gonna be blending, you know, more towards the middle, keeping it very like rounded. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna start doing the lower lash line right now, you know, kind of doing that same rounded motion. Now, I know some people like to always wait until after their face makeup's done and I do that sometimes and uh, sometimes I do it before my face makeup's done and I can just go back and gently blend a little bit if I need to add some. Okay, now let us take this little smaller brush. I'm going to use it in my crease and I'm going to take the shade No Exit, which is a tad bit deeper, very, very, very similar tone, a little bit more like a maroon, but like a red maroon. And then let's place that into the crease. Yeah. So this is basically the same situation as the two matte purples in Recently Deceased, in case you missed that video or in case you did see it and you know exactly what I'm talking about, where they're exactly the same tone, but you know, within a couple, you know, deepness levels of each other. So this one's just a tad bit deeper, which makes it very easy to blend together, but it it just creates a little, little less variety within the palette when you only have so many shades that you can add into it, you know? 
And then before I blend that, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it down here onto the lower lash line. Now going in and just blending that edge a little bit, making sure that it blends into the obituary shade that we laid down, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and add that no exit shade onto the outer and inner corner of this eyelid, this old eyelid of mine and yours if you're following along per chance. I'm not doing a full hot, 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 hollow, hot halo or spotlit, spotlit. Okay, no words today. Spotlight eye, Um, you know, I mean, you've already seen this look, but yeah, I just wanna do like a little, little bit of interest onto the mobile lid. I'm gonna go in, I think I'm just gonna use my finger. Even though it's a matte shade, whatever, I'm gonna go in with sandworm. I'm just gonna pat that in, not bringing it up too high. I really just wanna focus it on the mobile lid right here. And I'm gonna blend that into the darker red maroon shade we just laid down. Look at that, that looks really cool. And it's matte, which makes it kind of different, you know? I can really tell how gray it is now and I'm just like kicking myself for using that on my brow the other day. Like I wonder if that looked weird in person because where I was getting ready, it looked totally fine. You guys ever do that? You're like, man, my makeup's popping. And then later you look at yourself and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> what just happened? What did I do? Cause same. <laughs> you can totally keep it like that. I think that looks bomb uh, and almost like ghost, ghostly, ghosty. But you know me, I always like to take it one step further. So I'm going to pop in one of these shimmery shades onto the in-between area. But what shade do I wanna do? When I'm stuck and I don't know what shade I wanna add, I do a quick finger swatch to see like, oh, that's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm feeling that. See, look how brown the shade is. It's really cool, like bronzy. And then the red, no, it's gonna be this pinky maroon shade. That is really neat. And I'm going to take it on my finger and put it just onto the in-between. I'm gonna go back over with sandworm and just blend it, you know, kind of go back and forth and blend the two areas. That looks really neat. Okay, I'm loving that whole dimension and everything going on with that. Now I have to say, this is why I love doing these two or three look videos for you guys because it forces myself to think outside of the box, to do something different and push myself. And, and I really, really like this a lot. Um, yes, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my lashes, makeup, everything. I might throw on this gray liner. So let me actually do that. I'm gonna put on the 125 years ultra matte gel liner from the Beetlejuice collection as well. So if you have this at home, you can do this too. Or you can just do a black liner, whatever, whatever, whatever you wanna do. You can do the green if you have the green, whatever. You know, same story as the other video. You can just try all the different ways. And if you're not sure what you wanna do, you can do that little, little finger trick that I showed you where you lay it next to the colors. Anyways, okay. Be back in a sec. Okay, and I am back, and this is how everything is looking so far. I do need to pop in some inner corner something, though. You can go with the glitter, you can go with the shimmer, whatever floats your boat. But today, for this, I'm gonna be using that sandworm shade, that really light gray one. Popping it right there, keeping that matte, but glowy. It's so cool how it like glows, but it's matte, you know? You don't see you don't see that every day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I did use that gray liner 125 years and I think it looks so cool. I did a little wing with that. I really really like how that turned out. And for my lips in case you were interested, I used the ColourPop Hocus Pocus shade, the one from the Sara kit. I think it's called This is called Lucky Rat. And then also I used the Beetlejuice Calypso lipstick. So I'm doing some swatches just in case you have something similar at home. So you got the lip liner right here and then the lipstick has a really cool shift. It's kind of violety pink. 
really fun, really pretty. I like that. Oh yeah, and then for lashes, because sometimes you guys like to know that too, is the AOA Studio lashes, which are like $1.55, I believe. And these are the Style Terry. And I really like those. But yes, this is the completed look all done up. I'm really happy with how it turned out. You know, I really, I really am. I think it looks really, really cool. And we got one more look to do. So let's see what we do for that look. It is freezing in my house right now. <laughs> Ooh, so I'm all bundled up, but I'm ready to do another look for you guys. So I already primed and prepped my eyes, ABHI primer, you know, base shade, you know the drill. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Shrunken Head right here. And I'm grabbing my Luxie 121 mini tapered brush because it's like a really small blending brush for this area. And I'm gonna be placing it down and blending it out. <laughs> So simple, you know the routine. I think what we're gonna be doing for this look is like a somewhat smoky eye, kind of maybe maybe a different style cutout. I don't know, I don't know. I wanna play as always, you know, just wanna mess around, create something fun for y'all. Now to further soften that edge, I'm going in with my fluffier blending brush. This is the Sigma E40. And I have to say that is a gorgeous gray shade. I haven't used that yet to my uh, recalling, I don't think, but yeah, that is a really pretty, pretty gray and it's blending really nicely. And I just like the overall tone of that. Now I'm gonna go in with Charman on this smaller little detailing brush. And I'm gonna go ever so gently into that dark night. I'm gonna take that very lightly because obviously it is a black into the crease. I don't wanna deposit too much. And I wanna make sure it's gonna blend nicely. So working with a little bit at a time. Switching back over to that blending brush from Luxie, the smaller one, and just doing that same thing. Blended it out. Just try not to take it up too high because I don't wanna end up with black all the way up to my eyebrow, <laughs> right? Just a little bit of back and forth motion. And I'm going ahead and kind of fanning it out, making it more angular than rounded versus the last look or what we did in the last look. And then I'm going back in with a little detail brush and I'm just gonna add that to the outer corner over here, connecting it. And I wanna take note of these two gray shades, Shrunken Head, which we used, and the one right next to it called Tombstone. Yeah, those are crazy similar, okay? So kind of that same situation we've been dealing with with shades that are just really, really similar within the palette that I wish there was just a little bit more variation, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna use that Tombstone shade on the lower lash line just to see if it kind of performs a little bit differently since I hadn't really played around with the grays yet. So I'm just gonna take it on this little blending brush that's kind of more flat. This is the Sigma E25 and I just blend it on the lower lash line. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was. it's pretty similar to the way the other one was as well, which is a great shade, but like, you know, variation, variation, please. It's like, I would say the Tombstone shade has a tiny bit more of a brown taupey kind of gray to it, but so ever so slightly different. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my crease, but I wanna do kind of like a different type of shape. So I'm gonna take some of my ABH eye primer on the back of my hand. Again, you can use a concealer. If you don't have this, just don't use one that's too wet or else you're gonna have a difficult time working with it. And then this little concealing brush that I like to use on my crease now, it's the Laura Lee L17. And I'm gonna work in maybe like around it. I don't know, let me kind of stamp it. I kind of wanna play, okay. Kind of like that. Let's pop it over here too so I remember what I'm doing. And then let's go more straight across, but like a little tiny bit of an angle, like oval. Oval is probably the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna take it and kind of angle it over here, creating a harder line instead of it being blended. Yeah, basically I brought this over farther than I normally would and then I didn't bring it up as high. So I'm just trying a different shape out. And then before I work on the other side, let me go ahead and set this down or else I might get it everywhere. Let me go in with the red shimmer shade called Lydia. Same brush, let's pop that on. Let's see how that goes. Ooh, cool. I mean, and you can take this again. I mean, that you're just working with grays and blacks. So you can do any of those shimmer shades, matte shades, whatever. You can even use Juno. I kind of hate 
shades like that. You know, I kind of struggled with getting the intensity in that one with the first video that I did with the Beetlejuice collection, but it's not only, you know, this brand. I've had several brands where just, it has like a black undertone or something to the shimmer, which just doesn't translate well for, for me personally. It kind of looks too, it just doesn't give enough. So I don't want to use it, but if you like it, go for it. This red Lydia shade, however, is freaking awesome. Cool. That is red, red. That is awesome. Let me take a sod girl and I'm going to pop it onto just this part of the eye. Is that cool? Let's see. Actually, would it look cool all on the lower lash line? No, I think I like it right there. And I'm gonna use, am I gonna use a bit of Juno? I'm gonna use a bit of Juno, even though I was just trashing it. I'm gonna take it on my pinky though. No, I'm not. It's just a freaking mess. It's just chunking up. Maybe I'm not. This is what I'm talking about. I wanna pop a little right there, but no, I don't. It's stupid. Don't do that. Avert, avert. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna catch up the rest of my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face makeup, everything, la, 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 la. Okay, so here is what this look is looking like so far. I really, really like it. I think it's super cool, but you know me and I gotta throw some options out there for you. So before we do that, first of all, the lashes that I'm wearing are the Alter Ego Lashes in the Style Royal. These are super affordable lashes love them and then the lippy that i'm wearing is from the Too faced melted kisses lip set from this year and that is the sugar cookie lipstick which i love it i love it one more option for you so i'm gonna grab my ColourPop raw beauty christie super shock shadow this is in the shade olympic and for those of you keeping score I have been using as my inner corner. It has been working out for me. I originally got this because I needed something that I could just grab really quickly and not have to pull out a whole palette to do an inner corner. And I have been using it. So I'm just gonna pop it right here because I just need a little, a little sparkle. I'm just a creature of habit. And for some reason, when I put darkness around here, the way my eyes kind of come together, it always looks just kind of like odd. So I need a little bit of brightness right here. And then, this product isn't technically eye safe, so user discretion, you know, la 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 la. I'm gonna grab my ColourPop, glitterly obsessed in the Frozen 2, it's the Elsa one called Dark Sea. I think that they're still making this. And I'm just gonna gently press it onto that, making sure not to get it in my eye. Okay, so here is the completed look officially all done up. And again, I'm loving how this worked out. I'm loving that red. That is a good red. <laughs> Ooh, really liking that. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, there we go. Look number two in the bag. So that concludes my whole Melt X Beetlejuice series. Like I said, this is the third video. So that kind of wraps it up and rounds it out but you will still see me grabbing pieces here and there throughout on my channel, depending on looks that I do and what I need and everything. And that is that, but that, but that's it for like related, unless something random happens. I don't know, but thank you so much for joining me. If you've been watching all of my Melt Beetlejuice videos, I appreciate your support so, so much. Make sure you are subscribed before you go if you haven't yet. And you can also follow me over on my social media channels, such as TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, everywhere. I am at Ashley Alexat. but that is it. Thank you again so, so much for watching and hope that every single one of you have a great, freaking, awesome, wonderful, beautiful, lovely, happy day.